A new lithium processing plant has been unveiled in Nasara State, Nigeria, and this is the kind of news that we want. Instead of taking the raw material somewhere else to process, why not just process it within the country? By doing that, you can actually benefit from all the value chain, and definitely a lot of jobs will be created in the processing of those raw materials within Nigeria. According to a statement by the president's spokesman, Avata, a Chinese firm, built the lithium processing plant, which produces about 4,000 metric tons daily. Why can Max Technologies, a renowned Chinese firm responsible for over 30% of global battery material production, announced a new investment of $200 million for another lithium processing plant in Nasarawa State. The president was addressing these investors and they mentioned something that is really very important and that was social responsibility and environmental protection as well because all of these mineral resources in the process of extracting them, processing them and all of those, sometimes you know, a lot of these, um, you know, environmental, you know, regulation, they are not actually look after, they don't really look at them, they just, you know, do things whatever way they want to do it, really, whatever way that places them in terms of for them to be able to maximize their profit as well. So it's really very important that the president mentioned that, and I would really hope that it's not just going to be words of mouth, because sometimes it's just like, you know, just saying something, but no, um, no way to enforce it. I hope they can actually enforce it to make sure that, you know, there's social responsibility and social responsibility as well. It just really means that, you know, people around that area, uh, they are well looked after, well, whatever way, whether uh, providing jobs as well for, you know, the youth in that area and also just making sure that, you know, all any compensation that is required to be called, to be paid for people, maybe some people's home will be moved away uh, to be able to make way for, you know, mining and all of those. Yeah, so to, to, get, to just be able to uh, to do whatever they need to do, whatever international regulation that is being done in other advanced countries, not just to say, oh, this is Nigeria, and just to think whatever way they want it. I think that's really very important, something that the president mentioned. Africa is a huge market for solar as well. I mean, the weather is just there to, be, to favor, you know, a solar a panel, so which, you know, lithium as well is one of the materials possibly used as part of the material used for, um, you know, solar panel. Um, so, of course, there are other well, very, very highly a lucrative market for lithium as well in terms of electric cars, um, so which is a big thing now, you know, sustainability, you know, climate change and all of those, um, you know, they were trying to move away from fossil fuel. So this really means that, you know, uh, lithium is one of the critical uh, minerals. There are minerals that are really very critical to the economy of the future so and even up to you know battery i think battery is um, the, the big thing really so battery for electric and battery for all the purposes as well and this particular in you know, the processing um, uh, plan that has just been commissioned in nigeria is actually hugely um, uh, you know focused on, on on battery production so this is definitely a good and welcoming uh, development for nigeria and of course there are in, a lot of other states, apart from Nusarawa state, there are other states in Nigeria where, um, you know, where, you know, lithium has been found, whether legally or illegally, where there are reports that there are other states in Nigeria where lithium is currently being mined. Um, part of those states are, you know, uh, Kogi State, I think Kogi State is one of them. I think uh, Cross River is um, is one of them as well. I think there are other states, maybe a Kitif State might be there. Yeah, so there are a few countries, um, a few, you um, know, state in Nigeria where lithium are there. The thing really is that a lot of these minerals, they are just there anyway, but until when there is need for them somewhere else in the world, uh, that's when, you know, they suddenly realize that, oh, actually, we actually got this, but because we didn't really know um, whether we have any need for them or any use for them. Um, yeah, so, and this is just the, the thing that, you know, Africa, we need to do more research, we need to do 
more, um, I don't know, we need to build factories, so not just, you know, mining all these minerals and just sending them away um, and then selling them cheap in most cases because we can't really use them ourselves then because of that then we then have to just sell because if, we, if you have something that you can't use it if somebody wants to buy it they might actually be the one to dictate and to determine how much they are going to buy it from you so which is really sad um, so all these mineral resources in Africa need, we need to get to the point that we are actually uh, using them and not that these resources are not found in other places. Lithium for example is actually in um, I think uh, Australia and Chile, uh, these are the countries that produce and even China themselves. So these are the countries that produce the highest uh, producer of uh, lithium currently in the world. Um, so, but of course, they are in Africa. And then these resources as well, they tend to come with different grades. Um, so they tend to have different grades. Um, so you might have high grade. Yeah. So why some another country might have uh, might have it in abundance, but they might not just have the high the the, the highest grade of it. So yeah, so it's just a point that you know a lot of these mineral resources they are they are found in other parts of the world as well. Sometimes it's a myth to say that oh Africa is the one that owns these particular resources or some country don't own them. Yeah, so there are a lot of countries that do have huge mineral resources as well. So we you know they tend to come to Africa because in most cases they can just get them cheap and not only getting them cheap also because they know that Africa most African countries don't really have those equipment and you know all these uh, you know machinery to be able to extract this mineral you have them in the ground but you can't just use hoe and cutlass to, to extract them you need you know proper equipment you need you know modernized um, you know method and strategy to be able to extract them so which means that whoever owned the whoever owned their technology whoever owned the equipment, whoever owned the money uh, to be able to purchase all those equipment, whoever control the financial market, they are the ones that have up hand. So which means that African countries tend to just have a small deal um, or a small percentage when it comes to royalty, whereby the royalty that you get, African country get, you know, this sort of like uh, maybe pitiful of uh, 10% or 15% or even maximum maybe 20% royalty, whereby, you know, the country, you know, the organization or the companies that that comes with this mining company, they are the ones that we then get the largest, uh, the largest share of those. So, um, yeah, so but overall, this is a good development in terms of like this uh, lithium um, uh, processing plant in Nigeria. At least we know that, you know, they can process there and then make maybe batteries and things like that instead of and then um, the value chain can be um, uh, Nigeria can benefit from that I think there is one in Ghana as well I think I did a video a while ago about Ghana as well where they do also therefore um, they have a issue license to a mining company I think it's an Australian company or something like that who is going to be doing the mining of uh, lithium in, in Ghana as well so of course other countries in Africa I think um, Zimbabwe possibly the one that is already um, at um, you know at the forefront in terms of like you know a little mining in Africa and things in Namibia do have as well so there are a few other countries maybe Mali as well there are and there will be other countries in Africa that do have this you know lithium as well which maybe they haven't really discovered them yet or some of these before they actually make announcement that they do have them sometimes they're already mining them illegally uh, in those countries so yeah so it's just about for Africa to get to the point that you know all these mineral resources can actually um, make impact and make contribution to people's quality of life and that's the most important thing. I hope you find this video useful. Uh, leave a comment if you have anything to share about this um, video. Thanks for watching and God bless.